All right, let's go. We're all good. Elf? What's this? Another fighting ring? Another boxing ring? I guess. Yep. a thing to say <laughs> screw your dreams if you want to get old <laughs> oh did that kid just steal his bike <laughs> yep rough They're like uh, refugees. Mikasa is Tsukasa. Yep. Oh, first time we're seeing the actual opening. Oh, okay. Let's let's see. Please don't spoil me. Please don't spoil me. <laughs> no uh -huh. spoilers, no fee, please. I mean, everything is foreshadowing, so uh, I'm gonna keep that high. Yeah. Huh. Damn. I'll give them this though. They have, the music choice is always on point. Oh with yeah. The theme. But this one more so. Oh, it's literally called the theme of the nomad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, he's definitely haunted. This was all last episode, somewhat well mix of first season and last episode. Mm hmm So oh, is this gonna be Very like subtle. a weird inter? twingle between the first season and the second season they gotta explain how we got here so yeah, yeah. I would assume there's gotta be some flashbacks here and there yeah. are these guys the immigrants that, he was, that stole the bike yeah <laughs> He sold the bike? Mm. My gosh, you Egypt. Oh, wait, no. Wait, I guess they did. But they have their own. But they have their own. Oh, yeah, they do have their own. You're right. What the hell? <laughs> they must pay. <laughs> they must pay. Which means they probably stole those bikes, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know how I got those scars, up. kids? You know how I got those scars, boy? Get away, kid. 
Those kids need to barf out the food that paid for that bike. And not only <laughs> that, quick. they're little bitches. <laughs> She's so pretty. Oh. Better not be his mother. Yeah, it has to be, yeah. Or maybe like, you know, a mother figure. <sighs> yeah. His boxing equipment. He sold the gear. Yes. Oh my gosh, he's gearless Joe again. <laughs> he truly is gearless Joe. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, oh god. Does he have some type of attachment to the gear? Is this what? like withdrawal? Like a symptom? Oh. Oh, what? That wasn't his fight with him. Then what? Which fight? With who? <laughs> There's some serious, serious issues just from the flashbacks alone. <laughs> I know. I can't even pinpoint or even have, I don't even have a guess on what occurred. I still believe the kid's dead, so <laughs> that's, that's my theory. It's one theory. Yeah. Definitely one that might be true, though. This this these people could be his new support system. Who knows? I feel like it's setting it up to be, or maybe it's sort of like Samurai Champ Blue, where you meet people, you get to know a bit about them, and then just they move along. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> People are so nice. Jeez. Oh. I know which holiday they're referring to. What's it called? Fuck. I forgot. Um, the translation, and I can't even say it in Spanish, so sucks to suck for me. <laughs> but it's from, I guess, a Spanish festival. Mm. That, that's pretty. You know the movie Coco, right? No. You haven't watched well, she it? Just said Coco. No, no. Oh, God. Another thing I have to show you. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Shoot. The immigrants are being treated badly. Don't. He 
He's an immigrant? Wait, what? I guess so. No, maybe, 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 maybe not. I don't know. Oh. I feel like this is going to be a new coach figure for him. Oh. Well, at least he uh, respected the guy's uh, barely wishes. <laughs> Look at that smug guy, little freak. You really think? I'm guessing he's the guy that actually owns the bought it. Yeah, damn oh. hell yeah. <laughs> oh, light hearted. Like, he's. Don't tell me this guy actually had a noble goal from the start of providing a home for his people. Dang. Most likely. This man doesn't give me bad vibes at all. You know when he rigged the game, rigged the match last uh, episode? Yeah. He wasn't a bad guy then. Ain't a bad guy now. I feel like we're going to get a lot of character work around him. Nomad, of course, too, but definitely him and that little son. Oh, snap, he saved up. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh. oh. He's trying to get into Megalobox? To get the money required to buy the land, I assume. Yeah, I guess so, but two weeks isn't enough time. Wait, is that his wife and family? The oh, whoa. oh, wait, what? Whoa. Does he have a does he have a connection with immigrant? Um, is that so I'm trying to figure out who that is? So subtle. I like it. I like it. <laughs> hmm. I guess I'll keep that in mind later. Oh, that resonates. <laughs> that resonates a lot.
Oh boy, what's that stupid kid gonna do this time? Yeah, I don't like that kid. I don't like. He has to do a lot. Kid. He has to do a lot of things to redeem to redeem himself well, at this here's point. The thing. Yeah, here's the thing. I didn't like the twerp from the first season either. Until he grows on the, the yeah. twerp grew on you though. Yeah. So this kid has to do the same thing yeah, through but a long a lot of episodes. I think the only <laughs> difference is that this bitch is a teenager, so he has more of the audacity. You're right. Yeah, it's even worse. Let's just say he's in his rebellious angsty phase then. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's probably being a singer, right? An angsty boy. He'll soften. Oh. Okay, and he's having suicidal tendencies. What else? Where's the weapons, kids? So I'm trying Where's to those out. flipping weapons? Like, you don't even have a pocket knife either? Wow. <laughs> that kid exposes Drew Gillis Joe. Are you kidding me? And we're only in the second episode, and this dude did the dumbest. Mm. Back to back, dumbest stuff. Back, uh, to back. back to back. The whole episode. Keep it, keep it. He's gearless, Joe. <laughs> oh. Only do bad deeds for good. Put the weird American anthem music playing in the background. He left. Little kid really did fuck things up. <laughs> Unless he made that deal to save his town and his mother stuff, but I don't feel like that's the case at all. Oh. I feel like he just did it to flex with his friends. He really... Here's the thing, how did they find out? The kid just said it out loud, literally. Mm. I guess so. Do bad deeds for good. That that sums up this chief right here. Mm. 
Really? Are you really? Damn. Where's Joe, dude? Where is he? He dip. It's not like he has like people here in there. He something. doesn't have any ties. He doesn't have any ties here too. So it's like except for that lady. To bring him back. I guess. Is he gonna fight Gearless again? Oh shoot! <laughs> oh, looks like he doesn't even know what to do. No pills. Stop it, please. Unless they're good. Unless you need them. Unless they're good. <laughs> so, like you said from last episode, this is a hallucination. Yeah. It's definitely not the coach. The coach is no. Not with us. <sighs> And it seems like he's a trigger to him now, in some way. Bruh, wait, what? What? Huh? What? Oh! That was him on the deathbed? Oh, what? Wait a second, I forgot one of the beds. I forgot the bed, um... From the first episode, he had an agreement with, um, fuck, I forgot how it fully goes. Honestly, I might, I might finish the rest of the episodes of season one again, but I'm pretty sure it had to do with the reason why they got into Megalobox in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. No pills. Oh, yeah. Let's go! No more antidepressants! <laughs> Those are antidepressants. It it's like they kind of like. I don't even know what that is. No more, uh, um. What are those drugs? The ones that don't have anything in them, but you feel like they cure you? What is that called? Do you think they were placebos? There you go. That's the only other thing I can think about. Aren't you the medical student? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not a pharmacist. So. Yeah, I thought it would be along the same wheelhouse or something. Okay. In the same wheelhouse, but you don't just learn all the drugs. Yeah. <laughs> the second episode left me quiet, and that's a good thing. If I'm that absorbed yeah. into the story, that's a good thing. Super subtle. A lot of subtle things put in. Uh, got me invested in more than just Joe now. I yeah. actually want those. I will actually want those immigrants to succeed. Definitely. A lot of their, a lot of their ambitions and goals are actually very true to life and re relatable. Right, and so. also figuring out his trauma with the kid and pops. At least we know pops somewhat now. Yeah, but we know it's pops is kid. dead. So, too. We, we know pops is definitely dead. Sheesh. He died from that bet that he made in season one when they first entered Megalobox, I believe. That's yep. what happened. And then it seems like Joe lost his championship, not to the previous champion, which he beat, but another guy who was coached by the previous champion. Oh, so that was another thing that we just saw with, that we learned in that mini flashback. Okay, I did he was not connect down in the those ring. two together at all. Yeah. Let me see if I can bring it up real quick. Yeah, I'm please. Pretty sure. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think you went too far. Maybe. Cause Flicking are you talking about like in that dream sequence when he was knocked out? Yeah, that yeah, one. Maybe it is. Mm. It was literally black and oh wait, here. Yeah. Go back. Go back. Oh. Here. Oh yeah. So that guy beat Joe. He's knocked out. Right. And then the coach is, is the previous champion. Oh, shoot. You're right. Or, 
unless or it's like whoever a, it was at his side is at his side so it might not be the coach but it could be watching who knows either that so. or it's sort of like um i guess his insecurity manifests manifest first from the first champion who basically got him to challenge him to go into his ring i'm pretty sure true i'm not sure true it makes that that it actually could be completely possible since we know that he's hallucinating literally people right now as we speak right so it wouldn't be out of the ordinary for him to be in a weird state where he's knocked out and his brain's all frazzled and stuff to then imagine the previous champ. And here's the most... thing, even though he's getting off of the drugs, his brain is still going to be fragile. Fat. Frazzled. Yeah. Frazzled. Messed up. It's going to be messed up. There's going to be some long lasting effects to those drugs. It ain't, it ain't going to be just, you're not just walking out of it clean not at all my thing is how is he gonna end up teaching that um one dude to finally you think like he's gonna us? teach or do you think he's gonna be he's the coach fighting again he's gonna be the, you think coach. He's the coach yeah oh shoot this is pretty cool i like that i like that <laughs> that is yeah, a that's change a, that's up. Some, i like that that's some rocky plot right there i like it <laughs> some rocky turn creed type if you ever watch those movies, I, boxer turned coach. I haven't, I haven't seen the original Rocky, but I have seen Creed and th- theaters when the yeah. first came. So you know the coach is the Rocky guy, mm-hmm. and then he's the coach now for Apollo or for Creed. Apollo, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Creed. Okay. Paul. Where the fuck is his name? Apollo. <laughs> Out of because all he's of the a names. Space man. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, episode two of Megalo Box Nomad. Again, super hyped for it, and hopefully it lives up. Hopefully it gets more attention, dude. It. I really hope it gets more attention. It better. It's a. It's a. It's a darn shame. It's a darn shame. I feel like this is gonna be the season that will make people curious about the first one because even though it was good in the first one, people like edgy. People like depression. This is more on the depression mm-hmm. side. Hmm. And also, the first season did touch on those themes too oh <laughs> so yeah it's not it like... did but this is just like more in a mysterious way it sort of feels true, like you're true. doing a mystery compared to a rise in champion story like in um the first season true. we went from rise to riches to a man trying to pick up the pieces <laughs> essentially yeah <laughs> bars <laughs> and now he's yeah. bringing somebody else who here as heart just like when he started into the world of Megalobox. So I wonder how that's going to go. 